Hi, welcome to the Revolution <coughs> Conversations podcast. You know, I'm your host, Nida Body Dam Daddy, and today we're having a conversation with the one and only M Don that you guys love so much. Mary, if you don't remember. Hi. You are not gonna be at all like me. Alright, and today the episode is called Ain't Stressed About That Bitch. You know that song? No. I can't go out mad about no beach. Homie, take off never mad about that beach. Depressed, need to get some of my chest and stressed about that bitch. No. Wow. You can send me the link to Spotify and I can listen to it though. Definitely will. Alright, so um today's topic is mainly just about fake bitches, mm. snake bitches. Yes. Dotty girl. I know a lot of those. Dotty. Dotty. Girl. Dotty, dotty, dotty girl. But yeah, um, I want to start with snakes. Now, I'm not talking about the actual reptilian. They're reptiles, right? Yeah. Reptilian people. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about actual snake girl, man. They're in your life. They can be in your bed. They can be in your bed. You can oh, call them they're friends. They're everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. First and foremost, I have a phobia of snakes. I don't fuck with snakes. Ain't nobody fucking with snakes. I don't fuck. Nobody. Nah, fucks you with have some snakes. people that actually have snakes as pets, there. Eh? Ah, the 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 pet the pet snakes. Oh no, I I would like a. They pet might snake. have a human as a pet too, eh? Hey, I would I would like a pet snake though. That's cool. That's, like taking up the yes. imagine somebody comes to your house like ah, chill in my chill in my apartment you see no. that big ass snake in the corner no no I don't fuck with snakes but my point is we're surrounded by them and you don't know that you're surrounded by them until you know until, until you know you do know yeah but those snakes up. are basically taking up space in your life Without that's you meant for it. your person Masha, yeah, or the killers. snake can be your person. The snake can be that, your that, person. That's what I have with one of my exes. She was like so time consuming and like doing these little things be- because you love the person so much, you're mm. not seeing it until people are noticing and like saying, Hey, Mary, watch out. But in the beginning, you think like they're just saying it because they're jealous, but they're not, they're just trying to help you. Yeah, that that is also true. But uh, yeah, then you basically just kind of have rose-colored glasses on. Yeah, true. And in your life, you're like, oh, yeah, but everything's perfect. Mm-hmm. And everybody outside is looking at it like, nah, bitch. That's that's not the one. That's not what you think that is. And then when it actually blows up in your face, you're really like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You may have been right about okay. that. <laughs> God. What the hell? But, um... So yeah, snake bitches is what we're talking about. Seat fellas, people that take space in your life that's meant for the right person. Mm, but that that's kind of, I think that's pathetic because those people just want like real, not pathetic is a wrong word though. Mm. I think it's sad because mostly the people that are taking way too much space just want to be giving attention or love or something you know that's true but then it's also like okay there's a saying like people well i doubt it's a saying it's more than likely it's tyler perry but medea said people come into your life they can either be a lesson or a blessing snap you yeah. <laughs> Okay, I agree with that. Yeah, I, I I can agree with that. A lesson. Because those snakes really be like... Because when they do some shit and you go through some shit, you're like, you learn your lesson. Some people don't. Some people don't. They don't be learning shit. They true, just true, be... True. You be repeating the stupid mistakes. Be repeating the yeah. same fucking thing. Yeah, I thing. see it with a friend of mine, actually. She keeps doing the same fucking thing over and over again. And I'm like, yo, you know you're doing it wrong, but you still... You, she cannot, just cannot help it. And this fucked up. I don't know. I don't. I've listen. I've been through so much shit when it comes to friends, bro. So my circle is so small that if I actually let you in, just know. I 
trusty, trust. bro. I got trust issues. Don't we all? <laughs> trust. And I'm not talking about like, oh, uh, that, that Drake. Trust issues, bro. Trust issues. All right, so I was in school. There was this girl. I was in school. There was this girl, right? First was a girl, but she was a part of my clique. Mm -hmm. my immediate clique like mm -hmm. my group of friends but me and her were friends anyway so it was her birthday nobody could go out with her or whatever she was like oh she's going to months ago to a different parish in jamaica um for her birthday she's renting the hotel and all these type of things right so i'm like all right cool good i told my parents i was like uh oh, i'm gonna be out with my friend i didn't tell them where i was going they thought i was still in where i live mm -hmm. nah we was outside Took a bus down there, we're by the pool or whatever. No, we're by the beach, like, whatever. And then when we get down there, I'm like, okay, what hotel are we staying at, like? I'm not sure. In, in the same books. She's like, oh, no, 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 um, my friend or whatever um, decided that he wants to stay with him. So right away, obviously, I'm feeling very much annoyed, you know? Bro. Go to this place, he picks us up, go to this place, bro, when I tell you, we're in the ghetto. I'm literally, the only thing that you don't see is niggas walking around with like a, a fucking AK strapped to their chest. Mate, Fuck I'm off. in the ghetto. Fuck, in the ghetto in Jamaica. Bro, and then, Damn. and then like, it's just one room that we're in and it just seems like it's the guy's room and then the house is Wait, full of other people. Wait, how many people was there? Um, the guy, his friend, the girl that I went with me, mm. there's one room and the house is still up of like his family, like, like family, family. It's not a big house, sir. Yeah. So yeah, I'm annoyed. I'm like, floor. all right. The guy's like, oh, I got some weed. You can just smoke some weed and relax. At this point, I'm annoyed. So give me the motherfucking weed because I need yeah. to chill. My nerves is shot. Smoking to me, smoking to me, bro. Automatically, I'm telling you, I felt, I was like, nah, something's wrong, I don't feel right. I'm not hungry, none of that, but something didn't feel right. Yeah. So, smoking weed, smoking weed. So, the, the girls, like, the guys laughing, oh, she's fast, like, you know, she's, like, you know, high or whatever. I'm like, nah, that's not what that is, because I'm mm. a weed smoker, I'm like, that's not what that is. Mm. Like, I feel, like, my stomach feels weak. My body, it feels like I have no control over what's happening in my body. Mm. Like, that's not... And I'm really looking at it, and I'm seeing them smoke it, and I'm like... But... I realized that there had to have been something in it. In the weed? Mm. For what? Because everybody was smoking it. Or only you? Yeah, no, no, no. So, I smoked majority of it. Mm. They was talking. The guy smoked it, but obviously there's something in it. You know what it is, and it's not gonna and have the same effect on no, you that no, it's having no, on me. No, yeah. So, girl, she probably just took one puff, so it still wouldn't, whatever. But automatically, I'm telling you, Gabe, something was wrong. Kid you not. A couple hours later, I couldn't move out of bed. I'm knocked out, unconscious, but subconsciously still hearing yeah, the conversations, the conversations that's happening yeah, around me. Yeah, yeah. But if you did something to me at that point, and there's nothing, nothing I can do. Yeah. I can't physically can't move. Every move I move, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. Uh. My body just feels mash up. So then, um, at one point, I don't know if they were like starting to do stuff, but subconsciously I'm hearing with each other. Uh huh. With each other. Yeah. Subconsciously I'm hearing what's going on. Bro, drop asleep, get up, and then. When I finally get up the next morning, I'm still fucked up. I'm, st I'm still what? Fucked up. <sighs> so I could just barely manage, and I'm literally fighting my body. I could just barely manage to get up and um, and be like, I, I don't feel good. I'm saying to the girl, like, what the fuck? Leave. Yeah. I'm saying to, I'm literally, as your friend, I'm saying to you, yeah. We need to what? To leave right now, yeah. We need to dip. So. But what was in it? 
I'm thinking they probably like laced it with certain. I don't know what it was to be fair. I never asked that question. I just went out. I don't know what it was. I don't Not know. you getting laced in Jamaica. <laughs> in Jamaica my dad was so because I ended up having to tell him what happened and my dad was so mad and he told me he was like yeah they had to have listed me something yeah so it's old. it's not just weird or you had a panic attack or something Mm-mm. no Mm-mm. Mm-mm. so get in the car now she's like I was like yo I want to go home at this point like I'm done I don't give a fuck about nobody's birthday I'm done I'm mm. over it get to get to the the bus park Keep in mind, this whole time this girl had mad money spending. Mm-hmm. She goes, Oh, she doesn't have any more money. So you had to pay? Nah. I told her to call her man. I told her to call her who? I told her to call her man. So she ended up calling like her ex boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And he came and. Gave us money. He literally took me because he realized what was happening. He took me like into this um the shop and he got me food and whatever. And he was I was explaining to him what was going on and he was like, Yeah, that's why I don't really I don't really mess with her like that because this is the shit that she does. That's why me and her never could have worked out. Bro, and he literally gave me money and said to me, Do not give that money to her, eh? If you're paying for you guys to get back to home, then do that. Do not put that money in her hand. What the fuck? Babe. She, from that, I don't tweet at a girl. This girl went back to school. After all this, I don't know if she was trying to say fifth. At this point, my best friend didn't know until the other day when I was telling her that I was going to talk about it. I ended up having to tell her what happened. This girl went to school. Anyway, moving along. She's not that important. We're going to touch on to something very controversial. Well... I don't really give a fuck if you think it's controversial, to be fair. Nah, same. I have my opinion, you can have your opinion. Right, like, <laughs> if it's something that's made public, then everybody is entitled to their own opinions. And it's something that's already passed, but I think it's still somewhat relevant because, I mean, yeah, someone's fucking in prison for it now, anyway. So, jumping right into it. Mary. Yeah. I'm going to give you a hypothetical. Do you know the situation? I'm going to give you a hypothetical. Because we don't know what's true from whatever. We already have our views and our (laughs) views are the same. So, for example, me and you are besties. We outside. We in a car. Right? Your girl is with us. But that's your girl. Right? My my wife, yeah. So then, I'm vexed. I'm mad as fuck. I'm like, we, go, we going. Leave that bitch. We gone. Yeah. Then I'm mad. No, let's go get that bitch. What, what the fuck she doing over there? Yeah. We're in the car now. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, I just come out and be like, yo, well, I'm, I've been fucking. I'm, you don't know, but I've been fucking. You know Bitch, I'm a whoop. Your, I don't care how long we've known each other. I'm a whoop your ass. I'm a put your face against the concrete. I do not care. I'm but that's the thing. You. But that's what I'm saying. You see, everybody kind of has selective how can i say it well chris rack says it's called selective outrage so why is it that all of us in a hypothetical situation and in at that situation the the, the reaction that you would have is to, to fight the beach, yeah it's to fight no yeah well, all right cool because at this point it's betrayal it's more than betrayal and if you have access to a gun i'm, I'm gonna pull it out i'm gonna shoot you somewhere it's only motherfucking fair. I'm going to pull it out. It's an eye for an eye. Yeah. So, why is it that when the names come out, right, when it's it's tied when to it's a, like a, a public figure now, so it's still the beans. This couldn't have happened. So, in the media, a couple months ago, it's a couple months now, no? It's been, yeah, it's a couple months. But From it's last year, it really on. went to head last year, December. Yeah. Because you got sent in before Christmas. Yeah. So last year, December, I'm sure everybody's seen it, with this Megan and Tory thing, right? And it's not something that we really care about much more than so, but obviously these are artists that we actually like. But came out in court that what had happened was, so Meg and Kelsey, they're at a party. And it's fucked up because my best friend's name's Kelsey. But if you ever try to cross me, bitch, <laughs> just know you get the bullet in your leg too. 
Um, you get in a bullet somewhere else. <laughs> so what happened? What what it came out? How it came out in court was, and this is from Tori's point of view, um, Kelsey's point of view, and people that were also at the party that took the stand. Not Megan's. Megan's story is completely different from everybody else's. So their stories was that Megan and Kelsey were at the party. They were all getting drunk and whatever. Megan is a sloppy drunk, like she. You yeah, know, there has been much. videos of her. And yeah, everybody's seen Megan. Everybody, like, I feel yeah, like she, she's she just a messy ass drunk. Drinking. The girl that starts back Kelsey, crazy. they said, is more like a cute drunk. She's like a a little Italian. She gets girl. a little like, bit she's, dumb. She's, she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, super yeah, geeky yeah, or whatever. Yeah, 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 I get it. So Kelsey goes upstairs to lay down. Yeah. Megan invites uh, Tori to the party. So Kelsey don't know that her nigga's at the party until she comes back downstairs and she sees her nigga at the party. Anyway, they're all drunk. They're all in different circles. They're all chilling. So Kelsey's not mad that Tori's in the pool. Tori's in the pool with Kylie because let's be real. If we all had an opportunity to fuck one time, you smashing, are you not? For sure. For sure. For sure. Just to say you did. Ain't no question. Yeah, of course. So apparently, they're in the pool. Kiki King giggling. Stop it. Oh, stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um Megan sees what's happening and she's back. She steamed out her ears. Upset. So now Megan like Megan, you know, she's doing the most. Yeah. So she gets Kelsey and she's like, yeah, we gotta go. Mm. So they're in the car. She's mad. And Kelsey's trying to figure out, why are you so mad? Like, what happened? What what happened? She's like, oh, I forgot my slippers. You gotta go back. <clears throat> they go back. Bullshit. Oh, you're a multi-millionaire. You can Leave buy the fucking new... Anybody play with me or this... Oh, baby. Fuck the slippers. Yeah. Literally. Fuck the slippers. Literally. Anyway, they go back. And they get Tori's ass in the car. Yeah. And I was just thinking about something. Because if they drove off, then who's driving the car? If they two, if both of them are drunk, and they said the only other person in the car... There was a the security car, guy. Yeah, but the security guard is Tori security. So why would Tori security leave Tori unprotected to go in the car with them? How many people were in the car? Four. Four. I don't know. Maybe he said... Maybe he was just going to drop them off and come back for Tori. Could. Anyway, so going back, Kelsey says that they, Megan said she forgot her slippers, they went back. Megan also said that. When they, no, Megan never said she went back. So, which is already go, a lie, the first yeah, lie? They go back, but I mean, she already went on TV and said she, she wasn't fucking him, she wasn't doing anything, no. it just hurt her, and that was a lie. So, so they she go has back. been lying. Been lying. And yet, still. Y'all want to be mad that people don't like, oh my god, I ain't like it. No. I hate snake ass hoes. Yeah. But anyway. It's, it's, it's okay to make a mistake, but admit it though. Voila. We're grown people. We're Snuff not in like up. primary school, high school anymore. It's okay to say, yo, I fucked up. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's not like she was the only one that fucked up. There's all of all of them are wrong. All of them did ha- fucked up shit. Yeah. Voila. But not all of them admit it. <sighs> yeah. So they're going back. They're going back to Kylie's house. They get back to Kylie's house. Megan alone goes in. So Kelsey's still in the car. Mm-hmm. The friend, which is the hairstylist of Megan, that was still at the party, said Megan came in. She was mad. She was screaming. She was going off. And she was cursing Tori out. Like, get the fuck out the pool. So Kylie's there like, I'm uncomfortable at this point. Like, the fuck? So Kylie tells her stepdad, which is Corey Gamble, mm. like, you, I need you just to get them out. Like, I need her to leave. I want her to leave. Mm. So Tori's like, all right, cool. To get her to leave, I'll leave too. Just to keep the peace. Mm. So obviously, you just bought my fun. I'm going to yeah. be vexed as fuck too. Yeah. I ain't as drunk as you, but I'm going to be vexed as fuck too. So they leave. They're in the car. And, like, it's still going off. Tori. You know, you know niggas. Oh, you know shit. niggas. Talk your talk. Yeah. And I can't, well, I don't know what the conversation was. Then Tori comes out and says, Oh, yeah, so, uh, Kelsey, you know I've been fucking Megan, right? All this time that you were in Texas with COVID, been fucking her. 
because it seems to me like he was trying to give her some context as to why her best friend was behaving how she was behaving you know like there she's arguing and then your best friend is just there like why what's going on yeah like, why because she you, didn't know shit what is this and that's when the arguing started that's when it that's when it started between them because now because at this point she was like blonde girl just what's going on i don't understand what what's happening so after that now oh i don't need no more context i'm gonna be like you fuck is, my man is, is this true like is this a real thing and obviously, yo, and you still going on like you ignoring me. Oh, bitch, we fighting. So at this point, Kelsey is there fighting in the car. Obviously, I'm going to beat your ass. You been fucking my nigga, bitch. Yeah. And you in front of my face like you my real bitch. Are you crazy, bitch? Snake, 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 snake. Because remember, when she, when Kelsey had, and you can look on like Instagram or whatever or YouTube. When Kelsey was in Texas with COVID, can't leave the house, Megan and Tori were staying in the same place. But obviously, as a friend, you're not really taking it as anything, because if I call you and the niggas there, I'm not going to feel no type of way, because you're, we've been best friends for years, yeah. from we're little coming up. I'm going to trust you in my fucking life, G. Wrong choice. Right off. <laughs> yeah, wrong choice. So you're trying to tell me, in all of this, Kelsey just sat back, calm, cool, and collected, and saw, and just and as I'm and out, Tori just took a gun and just yeah, as I'm out, Tori took out a gun and shot. This is even gun. remotely makes sense. That and let's not forget that they said Tori also shot above the SUV. That bitch. He sh- First and foremost, I don't even want to embarrass Mary and tell Mary to stand up. Eh, but Tori is smaller than Mary, and Mary is small. Mary's a midget. I'm not small. What are you? If you come with me to bed, <laughs> <laughs> I can explain how big I actually am. But you know, you get your ass beat. I got the eight inch in the closet. <laughs> Y'all know, you know what's so. up. Okay. Yes, you just have to see. But yeah, me. with that though, with that though, you said he shot over. <clears throat> you said he shot over. How the fuck is the bullet gonna but go like the <laughs> bystander who lives on the street said he saw the light flash from the female. Not the man. Make it make sense. There's no gunpowder on, on his Tory, hands, on his But hands. it's on Kelsey. Yeah. And the first thing Kelsey says before she takes the stand is, I want full immunity. Full immunity means you cannot persecute me for this. And then she did the she <clears throat> pled the fifth on most of the things that was said because if she didn't plead the fifth, it would have incriminated her. They can still charge her for um, progeny, progeny, uh, I can't remember for lying. They can still prosecute her for lying. Uh-huh. But she didn't actually lie. She just pled the fifth. That's not lying. And yeah, exactly. But if she had said something that didn't go that way, they could prosecute her for lying. Because how long did uh, my man Tori get? He hasn't been sentenced yet. No? Didn't he get sentenced 22 years? Or was that in my head? No, this he can get up to 22 years. He's not been sentenced yet. I can check. But he's not been sentenced yet. There goes the good music. God damn. Bro, that man was low. Say what you want to say. But Tori, when it comes to me, that man don't miss. No. He ain't missed yet. That man ain't missed yet. That's so fucked up that. And then you kind of know, you kind of know that everybody behind the scenes kind of know what's happening and know that she's lying because since they come out, even even when they said they they yeah they charged him, no one came out and was like, oh yeah, congratulations. No, Megan, everybody shut the fuck up. Ain't it nobody. was silent on social media. Ain't no, not one celebrity congratulated Megan openly, like publicly. No. Nobody, because they probably like, the celebrities is just one. It's just one big friend group, you know. So they must also know what the fuck went down that night. I mean, first and foremost, you got Nicki Minaj rolling loud. What was it last weekend? Yeah. 
and she was like, I don't fuck with horses. But everybody was like, it's in that uh, Meg. Nah, she fucks with Tori. I mean, everybody kind of fucks with Tori. Drake it's just Tory. a lot of people because remember beforehand, Tori, none of them were really talking about what happened. You just hear that he shot her. And then you um, know that they were fucking. So yeah. you automatically assume that that's what it was. And then now it's like you listen to everything in the court and you're like, oh shit. Oh, you and was that, a snake. Yeah. Motherfucker. But it's just, it's not that I hate Megan or something, but bro, something on your story does not add up and it just doesn't make any sense. I, I like her music. I don't think I same? I don't think I like her as a person, but it's the same thing with like Nicki Minaj, unpopular opinion. I don't personally like her how she behaves or how she deals with a lot of things, but I love I will never take away from someone's music, eh? No. She does it's make good music. Things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the time. But she makes good music. Mm. She'll be hitting on a lot of shit though. I'll give her that. I'm not like a mad uh, Nicki fan though. How long did he get? He faces more than 20 years and potential deportation, but he's not been. Deportation to where? Canada. Is he from. Oh, it is. He's from Toronto. His sentencing was supposed to have taken place on the 27th of January, but nothing happened. Not my man getting deported. (laughs) Step (laughs) by. I feel bad for him, though. I feel very bad for him. <clears throat> yeah, but it's like... But what I'm trying to say is, if that happened to you, because I know personally with my temper, there's no way I'm in the car and you spring... I'm in a good mood. And all of a sudden, y'all are arguing. I'm trying to figure out, what the fuck are y'all arguing? Why is my man arguing with this girl? Like, why are y'all arguing? And all of a sudden, y'all just spring on me. Oh, yeah, we've been fucking... Y'all been doing what now? Bitch, I'm gonna put that gun in your mouth. Y'all been doing I'm what now? <laughs> I'm a, uh, uh, uh. I don't, I don't, uh uh-uh. I know how I have a bad temper. And I know any female Same. in that way, you're gonna, you're not even gonna but think no, about it. But it's not even react. female or male. It's just the fact that what happened doesn't matter if it was. Uh, It's postponed until April 10th. Oh shit! They got him in prison, prison, baby. <laughs> they got him locked up. Won't let me out. I think I w- uh, was locked up. Eh? Um, the one with the uh, AJ, nothing but a number. Pleasure P. R. Kelly. That's not freaking AJ number W though. Yeah, R. Kelly is locked up now. Yeah. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me check. R. Kelly, age ain't nothing but. Age ain't nothing but a number. This not R. Kelly. No, it's not. It's Pleasure P. It's um, Pretty Ricky. Oh, people just laughing with him with age ain't nothing but a number. Yeah. Because, oh. because he'd be fucking underage. Wow, that just flew right over your head, didn't it, Mesha? But I don't know any of his music. I'll fuck with you. You don't know no no R. Kelly. But babe, it's not even about that. Even before that this even came out, you don't know no R. Kelly. R. Maybe. Kelly be bussing. Maybe, maybe. Let me he check. wrote Let me for check. a lot of your favorite R. artists. Kelly, you know that, right? I believe I can fly, bump and grind back and forth. I'm sure. No. Maybe, maybe, maybe. He wrote for a lot of your artists. Carrie Hilson, Beyonce. Who we who Kay was Michelle. the first one? I don't listen to Beyonce. Who was the first one? Harry Hilson? No. Who do you listen to, man? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. A sprinkle of Terry Lanez and Chris Brown. <laughs> Lil Wayne. Birdman, but he's off the charts. Fucking. You listen to Birdman? The only song I like is, um. YMCB? And, no, with him and, um, Lil Wayne. Um, they have two yummy yummy. So I'm always like, honey, what I'm doing? Get him when you really do. Get him. 
what we're doing. Hating them because they never cash money still the company and bitch I'm the boss. They got me standing like my daddy. Are you <laughs> mad? <laughs> Are you mad? Are you mad? But I don't, don't touch me. Don't, that's that's ridiculous. I don't know his verse. Babe, that was little Wayne. <laughs> that's your man. That's oh, your shit. man. That's your oh, man. Shit. You have the audacity to be like, oh, I don't know his verse. Like I'm singing bird now. What the fuck do I look like? I don't know his verse either. Oh shit, busted. <laughs> That's mad. But what's what's like a, a fucked up situation that you've been in where you just be like, nah, I'm I was stressed about that bitch. Like, fuck mm, that bitch. We ain't friends. Cut you so off. Dead to me. Funny thing. And you, if you're reading this, I'm still gonna whoop your ass when I see you walk in the city. Um, so there was this guy, um, um, when I, 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 I've been in a place where I didn't have money and I, and it was the circle for food, and you know, the basic struggle, we all have, mm. um, and I was in a good place, or I am in a good place now, and I, so I just have, I'm not, I'm still broke, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, um, but I just have money, I can go, to dinner, mm. out to dinner, get mm. some dinner once mm. in a while, you know, do fun stuff. And I met somebody, he's also Moroccan. Um, so just so you know that I'm talking about you, bitch. Um, and he didn't have anything, he uh lost contact with his mom because he did all kinds of stuff. And I took him a little bit under my wing, so mm. he could sleep with me, uh, he could eat with me if, when we were out getting drinks. I paid for him, and it's not, I don't care, I don't give a fuck. Mm, mm, mm. You know, mm. I'd rather have your company than 200 euro more on my bank account. You know, because mm. what is money if you cannot spend it with somebody? True, snapper, mm. that's my opinion about yeah. money. So one day I was not home and uh, I have a lot of cash money in my house. Don't and, this motherfucker robbed you, bitch. Yeah, but it's it's it gets more ridiculous. So I have one spot where I have a lot of cash money and then sometimes when I'm like brushing my teeth and I feel in my pockets and there's like some twenty Whistle euro, fifty euro, euro, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just put it on a, next to my toothbrush and I for, forgot it at home. But it was like 60 euros, so three um, 20, 20 euro bills. And I was not sleeping at home. I, I don't know what I was doing that day, but I was not sleeping at home. And I know that he and one other friend, my bestie, my brother, was at home. And the next day I come and I'm like, where's the 20 euro? And my brother goes, I didn't, you know, I, I'm not touching your stuff. And I know he, he, Sometimes he's broke too, but he he be just asking me, Mary, can I please borrow a fifty euro? And I give it to him because yeah, yeah. I love him. Yeah. And I was like, huh. And then on Instagram, I saw that he was getting breakfast, and I'm like, you never have money. I'm Where did you the get one. the money from? Where did you get the money from? And he was like, no, 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 it's mine, it's mine. And then, but he never, if he has money, it's never cash. Mm. So I'm gonna be calling the girl where he had breakfast with. I said, hey, was it a twenty dollar? 20 euro bill he paid with no i don't want anything to do with this blah blah, blah. So why are you reacting like that mm, i just asked you know i that. just asked you if it was a 20 yeah yeah i said mm. yeah now nah, i know enough but then we talked a little further she said yeah it was the 20 euro bill i went mad i texted him i said come to my work now i grabbed him i saw him because i worked at work at the time at a bar and he came onto the uh, terrace and I saw him and I just grabbed him by his neck I pulled him to me and I said just say now that you took it this is all I need to know just say that you took it <laughs> no no and he starts crying and lying no I didn't take it blah 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 I said I know you took it I said I'm gonna give you one more chance just say it and it's okay we're never gonna be that good of friends anymore but if you admit it it's okay I get it. I get that you were in the... No, he just kept lying. I was like, what the fuck? So I almost beat his ass, but then friends came and they pulled us apart. Um, and I'm like, you are a fucking snake. I gave you everything. Literally, I gave you food, a house, love, and mm. this is how you pay for 20 euro? Are you for real? You want to throw this whole thing away for 20 euro? That's mad. In my head, that's mad. Nah. And that people like that, nah. And... From then on, I was like, I don't trust bitches anymore. I don't trust people anymore. Because how? For 20 euro. That, and 20 euro is gone in five seconds. Huh? True. 
The first and foremost, ten euro, five euro gone in five seconds. You can go in there for one drink and you ain't coming back out with shit. Stop it. And it was not for me. It was not about the money. It's if just you, principle. If you would have asked me a hundred euro, I would have given it to you. It's just principle. It's just principle. Get the, your fucking hands out of my stuff. If I did not give it to you, mm. that was more the, the thing. And from that day, I was really. I also the definition of of best friends and and just friends in general changed for me i'm like because i know a lot of people in antwerp i work in bars in clubs i work everywhere i work at events so automatically i know a lot of people but out of the maybe 150 200 people i know in antwerp i think six of them are really my friends Mm. because the definition really shifted in my head there's people you know people you know a little bit better and then you got your your friends you know what i mean my friends yeah. people i call when i'm i'm crying about something, yeah you know? i feel you i feel you. do you know what going uh, coming up i only had two best friends now i only have one like as in a day one best friend that i've known since back, back then. in the day like yeah. i have friends now that are close to a point where i'll be like yeah you you can be considered my best friend like max is the best friend for me i love me some max thing but at the same time so that girl that's not my best friend anymore i wouldn't even go so far as to even explain as to why because she's not that important at all um it's just more bitches was fake from a longer time and i was the only one that didn't see it oh shit i'm sorry it came into my head and i seemed to pick up something Andre, fuck! You still had the the dinner from yeah. three o'clock, and it closes in half an hour, twenty minutes. How far is it from here? Five minute walking. Okay, four minutes in can you? Yeah, I'm I miss you guys. I'm sorry. She's an asshole. So this this one's gonna be short, just based on her alone. Yeah. Sorry. So she's gonna we're gonna get it back in blood because now she got to do another one. See. Think Santa do? Um, see, you made me fucking lose my train of thought, you piece of shit. You was talking about your best friend. Ex-best friend. Yeah, but low-key shit even. Low, yeah. Sum it up. Short, long story short. Bitch is just, ain't real. But I was the only one that couldn't see it. Like, bitch was talking, literally talking my business behind my back. Yeah. And then saying that I said this when I didn't say nothing. And bro, I'm oblivious. I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm actually reaching out to my friends to just to chop it up, and they're like, don't fucking talk to me. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I ain't spoken to you in a minute. Yeah, I heard what the fuck you said about me. Huh? Bro, I haven't spoke to you, meaning out of sight, out of mind. I have not spoken about you either, because mm. I've been, you know what I mean? You're not that important. I didn't even <laughs> know this girl was saying, like, she was talking shit. Twisted around to make it seem like I was saying something. By this time, I don't even know half of this is going on there. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, you need to be, you definitely need to be, you definitely need to be cut off because this is wild. That's so wild. Yeah, don't, no, you really need to, but the more situations like that you come across, the more you learn it and the more you see the patterns before you go and trust somebody with your full heart. You know what I mean? True. True. But then it's also like it's the same thing where you have seat fillers. So you have someone that comes into your life just to teach you a lesson. If you have been a dumb bitch before, this person's gonna teach you, okay, you need to stop being a dumb bitch. If you were too too trusting before, this is gonna tell you like you need to Don't stop being so it, yeah. fucking generous. Because people are out here using you. But they're seat fillers because they'll stay stay in your life for a while won't serve no purpose just taking up space yeah and then as soon as they're gone the right person that's been waiting to come into your life but then it makes it harder for the next person to come in because it's hard for you because you always True, have that trust but then it's like me yeah but you know what the thing is that's also what i learned friends need to lift me up also like girlfriends lift relationships. Me up, lift me up. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Uh, like relationships for example also if you're my girl and you don't lift me up in some way or you don't add something Value, yeah. valuable to the relationship to either make you 
grow me you. grow or grow together you're mm. done for me but then, then i'm just fucking you for play you know what i mean i don't even put to be fair i don't even put no effort into relationships no more bro back in the day right this guy that i lost my virginity to, i think i spoke about him can't remember but this guy i lost my virginity to right bro can i tell you year 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 and a half into this thing this man got this girl pregnant my guy looks at me and tells me no it's a lie you see when it came out and the girl come out she got this big ass belly she's basically saying yo it's him this man gonna make his cousin his cousin call me put me on speaker while him and his boys are all there explaining to me that it happened it was a mistake he didn't mean it he loves you um, it's not his kid. He needs a DNA test. At this point, I'm just like, are you not? Are you mental? Just <laughs> I didn't the, the day, and I said at the end of the day, I have nothing. I have nothing against the girl because I will never be that type of person to be like, oh, I don't have nothing against the girl. Mm-hmm. You got the girl pregnant. The baby's innocent. The girl's innocent too. Y'all was just fucking. But I hate niggas that. You don't take no account. There's no accountability. There's no responsibility at all. Mm. For you to be like, oh yeah, it wasn't me. Are we shaggy? Are we still back in the 2000s? What the fuck? It wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, like, fuck, fuck him. Fuck all the snakes. Fuck, fuck all, all of the them. Sisters. Fuck all the people in your life who do not bring any value but them it's just aggravating but yeah um this was super short and i'm probably gonna put out two episodes this week because this one's super short but this is also you have to kind of vibe with us because this is our first visual episode and it will be available on youtube so if you haven't clicked the link in the bio yet and subscribed then what are you doing with your life but it's still gonna be on all podcast platforms like i said this is short it's something cute just for us to talk our shit just one of those days we're just talking shit kind of ends me and my g even though she's leaving me i'm out bye bye can you bring me snookers yeah sure Love you. Love you. Yeah, yes. And she just cutting in front of my camera too. She rude as hell. But yeah, it was just a, a short, cute episode. Um, I'm definitely gonna be dropping um episode six as well, which is a solo dolo episode with me, and that should be a visual one as well. So stay tuned for that. So there's two episodes this week. And then we keep it normal going forward just because, yeah, it's a visual week, isn't it? Um, keep in mind that on the 20th of March, the new merch will be dropping. I will be not telling the time, like, I'm not sure what time yet because I still got so much shit to do. Like, I'm anxiety is killing me this week, yeah? So, um, yeah, the new collection, the bowl collection, will be launching this week. This is also part of the bowl collection. You know, you got to have the socks as well, the black and orange socks. The t-shirt has like a back print. It's litty, like a titty. Um, I don't know, man. I've got a lot going on this week, so I'm just going to dash out two episodes so that it gives me time to record episode seven and eight respectively but with visuals because we're going to continue doing visuals going forward unless i wake up and look like shrek you feel me so again just a nice short and cute episode for you to feel you know we vibes in on the ends and that with m don thank her for being a part of this one um i want to hear what your views are 
because like obviously we're all gonna have different views you can argue on whatever we can bring this to twitter or wherever or in the comment section but i want to know what your views are on the whole situation because things just be sounding very fishy to me it's not as black as white as the media would want you to believe because there's a lot of things that were released in the media from both parties from both camps that when it came out into court it was a whole different it was a whole different thing you know what i'm saying so um that's just something that we were talking about today and we just felt like talking about on an episode so why not um yeah so plug into my clothing instagram um i'll be releasing teasers and the product rollout sometime between this week and next week and that's at revolution sile on instagram So that's at Rebelisha Sile on Instagram. Follow our podcast Instagram as well. That's at Rebelisha Conversations. Vibe with us, engage with us, slide in the DMs. Look up you guys all the time. Stay safe. Stay safe out here in these streets. Archakusha. Bye.